Hi guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart and today I am so excited to do a flip through of my completed junk journal. This little baby has gotten so fluffy <laughs> and yeah, I've really enjoyed working in this. I have been working in this since January and now it's the middle of March. so. It's taken me a little while to get through. I don't do daily journaling in here. I just, um, I started it with the Junk Journal January challenge and then kind of did maybe two to three spreads a week after that. So this journal I had custom made from a creator. Uh, her shop is called Coffee and Paper Scraps and I will link her shop down below. Her name's Nicole. And she is such a sweet and kind soul, and her work is just top-notch. Um, as a journal maker myself, I just, the quality of her work is just amazing. And the level of detail and care that she puts in, um, it's just, it's astounding. And I love this journal so much, and um, I'm kind of sad to retire it, but never fear. I have... <laughs> a second one that I had custom made and um, I'll be using that one shortly. So let's get started. So first we have this lovely, lovely tassel. I am definitely not that talented at making tassels and her tassels have been so beautiful. So in the front there's a pocket and this actually has the little note that she wrote to me with my journal and a few journaling tags. So, as you can see. And I just kind of keep them up there as like decoration and the note as well. So, one disclaimer, I'm filming in the middle of the day, which I don't typically do. So if you hear my kids or my upstairs neighbors stomping around like they do, um, I apologize. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I can only control so much. So to start with, if I do a, a junk journal uh, challenge, I will typically put the prompt list um, in the journal somewhere. So as you can see, there's the junk journal January prompt list. And then just a few other pieces. This tag was actually sent to me by a um, pen pal of mine and I just loved it so much. She sent it with like a nice little Christmas gift of handmade watercolors. And yeah, I just loved the tag. I thought it was super cute. Another thing, when I'm doing junk journaling, um, I typically don't work in um, like order of pages. I just flip to a page, find the spread that I think will work best for what I'm doing and then just go from there. So yeah, I don't, you know, go in order. <laughs> so this was the prompt I believe that was goals. And one of my pen pals has sent me this sticker and yeah, the sentiment is, is real. And I wrote some of my goals on this little tag that I created. I can get it back in. So next spread, I think I can't remember what this one was. Anyway, um, this was under the junk journal January prompt list. Maybe if I have the prompt list next to me, I can actually remember what spread was for what. I think this one was nostalgia. This is actually a photo of my grandma and my dad when he was little in 1960 and then I journaled on the back of this tag that was given to me by pen pal. This was... I have no idea. I'm not going to try to name all the, the spreads but here I was talking about how wonderful the pen pal community has been for me and these are a few things in the pocket and these photos and whatnot that pen pals had sent me. I believe this thread was monochromatic. Sometimes I do writing on my spreads and sometimes I don't. Um, it just really depends if I feel like the need to write. 
and that I did right on the back. Sometimes I'll do quotes, but I like to add like little bits of interest and things that are like tactile and textural. This spread I kind of struggled with because it has like this hidden page and I really didn't know what to do with it, but I'm actually really happy with um, how it turned out. This is actually a little design that I made, um, kind of explaining like why I journal and whatnot. This is a little study that I had in my sketchbook. I believe it was like maybe painting or art or something painted might have been the prompt for this one. But yeah, this is a little study that I did. I'm hoping one day I can actually turn this into a full size picture. Just more little tags tucked in here. Lots of like um, vintage pieces. This was sent to me from a pen pal who was so sweet to like actually cut this delicate thing out and I was so worried it was gonna break but I managed to get it in there without like snapping off one of the flowers. This is a lady from a, I think it's from like 1913. It's a catalog for, is it Coates and Clark? I think. Anyway, it's from a catalog during that time and I had scanned in the pages because it's just too precious to me to use um, the ephemera, the original pieces. So I scanned in a bunch of these ladies so I could cut them out and I've had so much fun playing with that. I've been thinking about starting an Etsy store and scanning in some of my more like rare vintage pieces and kind of do like um, printables. I guess let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. This spread I'm actually... Now just to show, sometimes we do spreads that we're not like crazy about. I wasn't crazy about this one and I felt like I overworked it and when something wasn't working I just kept adding, adding, adding and it, it didn't work out <laughs> in my opinion. This is the spread that I did in collaboration with um, Nomad Delights. Or, and uh, know me delights. That's it. Uh, you can. I will put it in the cards. Um, I actually have a journal with me video for this one, and she sent me all this lovely stuff, and um, I kind of made little bits and pieces out of it. We swapped materials using the same materials to see what kind of um, spreads we could come up with. And also, I was super excited to start playing with transparency. So this vellum that's stamped and has some washi tape on it, I think it really adds some dimension. I'd like to explore that more. So another little pocket with this little cutout of this, is it a gopher maybe? I'm really bad with my animals. I do remember this spread was for texture, so I actually took some like modeling paste and acrylic paint and did some texture on this and again this is another like a uh, transparency exercise which I thought was cool I put it over this photo that I took from a hike that we did this is a little tag This spread was created with um, a lot of pieces from um, packaging. So I had a, I had bought a new uh, Moon Man pen and stuck the packaging in here because I just I had this print that's like kind of psychedelic. Really uh, got my creativity going. Travel list. Some more stuff for Junk Journal January. In the second half, I started moving into um, doing spreads that were just of my own. This spread I actually did that was completely made with items that a pen pal had sent me. I was so inspired by these like pieces she had cut out of a book. 
and then I like journaled on this clear vellum tag talking about how awful getting my wisdom teeth out was. I'm in my second week of recovery and I feel better, but oh my gosh, it's been rough. It has been really rough. Little tag with my son when he was a baby. He turned two in February and I am a mess about it. <laughs> I can't believe he's growing up so fast. He went from this tiny little bean to this little human. So another like little flip. This is song lyrics from um, Keep It I think it's Keep It Together from Guster. It's one of my favorite bands. If you know Guster, you should totally let me know. We can geek out about awesome alternative music. <laughs> this was my spread from the collaboration with Nomi Delights. Um, yeah, I have a video on that one too. I'll try to link it in the cards. This is when I was starting to move into doing more um, like romantic Valentine's Day spreads. And I did journal on the back of that. I'm not typically like a super like Valentine's pink person. But I, I started to embrace it a bit. I have um, a video on this spread as well. This one is like straight up Valentine's. The little tag. I actually used bits of packaging from one of my cute things from Japan order for this. That's something to do. Like if you're ever wondering what to put in your journals save those really pretty pieces of packaging. I mean, that's basically free ephemera right there. Documenting my kids being, you know, little, little hikers. We love going on hikes. We go a lot. I made this tag with some things from a pen pal. really pushing myself with color more. I actually really like this spread. I wasn't crazy about it when I had first made it, but now looking back on it, I think I did a decent job on it. This one, I think specifically was the prompt was so, so I made this tag. I'm actually a quilter, so I make quilts and I wanted to make a quilted tag. And then I put a photo of one of the quilts that I had finished recently. Um, sewing is another passion of mine in addition to journaling and paper, paper crafting. This was another spread that I did um, using mostly just the materials that a pen pal had sent in her letter. This cute little tag. I was playing around with um, dried flowers and a wax seal and I like it actually a lot so hopefully I'll be doing more of that in the future. I made my first Galen Leather order and I really love this uh, postcard they sent and I knew I had to make a spread because it was really pretty and I wanted to just document that. So this is my son's uh, two year uh, birthday spread and here's a tag from one of his gifts and I do have a video on this one so I will try to link that in the cards if you're interested. And then the very end, this is a, I guess like a bookmark or something a pen pal had sent me and one of my pen pals knows how much I adore Frida and she had sent me a few of these postcards and so I have this back here for some extra journaling space. So that's it for this journal. I hope you enjoyed looking at it and kind of going down memory lane with me on this. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're working in a junk journal. Um, do you make your own junk journals? I would love to hear and, you know, see other people's work. So if you have a video that, you know, you do a flip through of yours, just let me know and I will totally check it out. All right, well, I guess that is all for me for now. Bye.